Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the first Strike Gamecast, hosted by myself, Brennan Friesen, and the one and only, the final boss, this guy, dictator of the shop, Shane Wall. How are you tonight? Doing well. We're doing well? Yeah. We're doing good? Yeah. As you can all see, we are back to having a, a real a real setup going on. Uh, we finally we finally got around to rearranging the room uh, and getting a real outside. Still, well, needs that needs so that, much work. That could use some work. It could, but but, but that doesn't matter because all you need to see is this. All you need to see is what we want you to see, um, which, which is mostly me. Which is mostly shame. Well, you do take up most of the frame. Uh, yeah. Well, it makes big, sense. Big dude. You're, big a, dude. you're a small dude. I'm a. <laughs> I'm not even a big dude. I'm average. No, yeah, no, you're fine. You're average. you're you're chunky. You're chunky. Kong. Chunky Kong. You're chunky yeah. Kong. One of my least favorite Kongs. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're, we're back with the game cast. We're back. We have... It's weird. It's weird being back to this setup. I didn't think we'd go back to this. I thought we'd get a new one. Me and Shane, yeah. we, we did a lot of a del deliberating of, what, of how we wanted to do this. We both agree our favorite setup was the, uh, the across the table looking at each other. And then we had all Absolutely. the props in the middle of the table. It looked good. I, I liked it too. But if we want to do a, a proper streaming setup, as well as a proper podcast setup, this is what we're doing. We'll give you a little tour of the room sometime. Anyway. It's a big room. It's just oh, it's huge. It's so big. Take hours to walk you through it. Hours. Days. Uh, but we'll just say a quick hello to everybody who is here enjoying the stream. What is up, Sly? Crash, Mr. Phantom Zero, Benjamin. Uh, the 470. E Extra Life Game Shop. I don't know who that is. Shane Wall. Yeah, welcome, welcome here. Welcome here, Shane. Uh, bueno Esolodia, welcome to the stream. It is always a pleasure to see you. And Kudan, welcome to the stream as well. Um, I did see that picture in my Discord. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll respond to it later. I didn't have time to. We were setting up the podcast. I was, I was in a rush. I was in a rush getting all yeah. this. We, we just finished setting this up today. Uh, I had a, a full shift and I only got here like eight so hey what's up aj games welcome to the stream uh we got a fun episode uh planned out today it's kind of once again it's one of those half-assed half-planned podcasts well see i plan you you were busy moving stuff around today i was but so i wasn't doing nothing i wasn't doing nothing dan welcome to the stream it's good to see you sir uh so yeah for those of you new to the new to the show we're gonna open up with the news uh we're talking about some shop trades and funny stories that have gone on uh, this week Move on to our three main topics of the day, wrap it up with some personal stories, and then that will be the end of the show. Episode 37. We're three away from 40. That's impressive. Right? I feel like we just started. It's almost been a year. We're getting close. Yeah. That'll be really wild when we actually hit it, that one year. It doesn't feel like it. No. It kind of feels like we're nine episodes like in. Like the shop is already over a year old, and I can't believe that. Yeah, I've been coming here for over a year now. That We had a whole, like... Episode about that. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was two episodes ago. You should that definitely. A, that was a good one. It was a very good one. You should definitely check it out if you if you missed it. Anyway, uh, welcome to the stream. Anyone has any questions at any point, feel free to just shoot them out. But for now, Shane is going to take us away with his news. What's that news? First thing I saw today when I woke up was what well, I went to the bathroom. I guess. Oh, so you saw you saw me. You saw you. Yeah. <laughs> but Pokemon, <laughs> no Pokemon tournament. Yes, that's almost got. Pocket Tournament DX confirmed for the Switch. I I don't care at all about this. I think it's kind of neat. If, like, I like, said neat. Wow. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> Look what you've done. Yeah. Look see, what you've done. See, my problem with this is there's so many other games you could have given the DX treatment to. Why choose that one? Nobody cared about it on the Wii U, so why even bother? Like, okay. It? Okay. There. Okay. It's 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 not a bad. It's a cool game, right? No. Right? Like it is. It, no. Come on. I've had two it. copies here forever. Nobody cares. Like it's like a Street Fighter type type game, right? But you know, it's it's Pokemon, so it's cool and it plays well. Like I've, from what I've, I've watched a few reviews on it, and from what I've heard, like it's a balanced fighting game. People don't care about it, fine. But but maybe because now that it's on the Switch, people will care about it. I think maybe. people didn't care because it's on the Wii U. Nobody owns the Wii U. No. And those who do own it don't want it. <laughs> That's. Very true. So, there you go. Yeah, my only theory as why they, they ported that one over is they probably sunk a lot of money into that, and they haven't gotten near that amount back yet. Yeah. Whereas Mario Maker, Smash Bros, all that stuff, they've made their money on that already, so... I'm surprised they announced that so fast. Yeah. I thought if any port 
uh, to the Switch from the Wii U is going to be announced first. It'd either be Mario Maker or Smash. Yeah. But there's a lot of rumors of actually a new Smash coming out, which would be weird. That'd be a weird move. It would be, yeah. And I'm, we're going to talk more about it later, but I'm a little surprised that Nintendo is giving out information now with E3 just around the corner. Yeah. But that must mean that they have a full jam-packed show. No, but the that, one, yeah, where that small news. tournament DX did not make that cut. So that's kind of exciting because that's a big title game. It should be. I mean, it's Nintendo. They do what they want. It doesn't. What, what it's true. Do. Yeah, they might. They might have nothing. It, it could be. We might get half the presentation of Arms again. Oh, there we go. You know, I, I've uh, Elena Dreamhearts. Welcome to the stream as well as Gaming with Llamas. I've heard a lot of people turning their minds around on the Arms thing. People are suddenly like, "Oh, this game is bad." Yeah, apparently once you play it, then it's it's not that bad. We should have played it. We had a free weekend thing. Yeah, I didn't even tried that. Yeah, I didn't even think about doing it. I, I saw it too. I just didn't consider it. So yeah, that's yeah, that's going down. Yeah, that's one thing. There's okay. there's also a company making uh, sort of custom switch cases, but for games that haven't come out or that aren't getting a physical release. So you might oh. be able to get your ukulele case finally. Okay, but you can't put the game in it though, because it's it, it's, yeah. it, it's just the case. It'd be the case. Okay, that's not like but, that's. Maybe they throw in a dummy cart or something, too. That would be kind of neat. Purely just to take up space on my shelf. That's what yeah. this is for. <laughs> but it'd be cool. I, I would like that. Sure. I just sure. wish you could get the uh, the actual thing. We've got Mega Man Legacy Collection Volume 2 coming out. Hey. Which will have all the Super Nintendo Mega Man games. Big surprise, though. Not on the Switch. No? Not on the Switch or the 3DS this time. PS4 and Xbox One. Huh? PS4 or Xbox One PC. Wow. So it I don't like it's weird. Like all these games were made famous on Nintendo consoles. The same group that worked on this game also worked on the Disney Afternoon Collection, which came out a couple months ago. And the same deal with that one was not on the Switch, was not talked about being put on the Switch. That's a missed opportunity. Yeah. Right right now there are no games on this thing. Those would sell so fast and so much of them. That it just seems like a no-brainer, but I'm sure they have their reasons, whatever it is. No, I'm I'm genuinely surprised by that. Yeah. Why not? Like, why not just make the... Because it's a cart now? And, like, you don't want to... Like, it's not hard to... Work. I don't know. They did the Legacy Collection on a 3DS, so I don't know why you can't move it to the Switch, but whatever. Yeah. That thing. A uh, new Need for Speed got announced called Need for Speed Payback. Like, I, I don't care. <laughs> Need for Speed. It, it had a couple good games, but like it's 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 one of those. Fa it's a fad that's yep. over. The most wanted Everybody underground loved era it for a while. Yeah, it was a big deal. And now it's gone, and it it's one of it, like it doesn't come back now. No, like it's done. No, I think it's yeah. There's yeah, nothing you can add to that game to make it exciting again. It's just a racing game. Yeah, and we've all gone through that. We've all played that, and we're yeah we're moving on. It's not that good. Uh, PlayStation VR has sold over 1 million units since October. A million. Which isn't bad. I'm actually Im I'm impressed. I didn't yeah. think it would... Because it's an expensive purchase. Yeah, that's a and lot of money to drop. Move, they moved a million of them, so... And they have made a, a few more games than I was expecting. Like, yep. There are more... There's a lot of very fancy games available for it. We still need to hook that guy up one day again. We do. It's been a while. I was always worried they were going to underdevelop the thing. Like, you release it, yeah. and you just get, like, six but games. But one million in, in sales, that's a wicked start Sure. since October, I think. Yeah. That's not bad. That's really good. That's not bad. It's on pace for, yeah, two million. Hey, Dustin, welcome to the stream, man. Get Crow. Get Crow Gaming. Get Crow. We also, last week, we mentioned that a, a gold PS4 got leaked. And it turns out that was legit, and we're getting a gold and silver PlayStation 4 Slim. Ooh, with a one terabyte hard drive. Ooh, they look pretty good, but I don't, I, I don't the like the slim, shape. Yeah, the, the slim. slim. I wish you could get that gold in the version you yeah. have, or the silver. That would be mint. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. We can just spray bomb it. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just so spray it works bomb. on a truck. It works on a PS4. It, it does. Costs the same anyway. It so. does, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did your PS4 cost more than your truck? Not quite. Almost. No? Oh, that'd be funny. Just about. Oh, that would be funny. Just about. <laughs> Man. But the craziest news of the week revolves around Nintendo. Is this the article I they saw? They announced 
a lot of their Nintendo online stuff. Yeah, they did. And it's going to be at $20 US per year. Which is a great price point. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, there should be no complaining about that. If you don't want to pay, it'll be $26 for us Canadians, but... But that's not a big deal. <laughs> no, it's that's not... A year! Big. And what this does is this gives you access to sort of a Netflix-style virtual console thing where they originally said they were going to give you one or two games a month that you could just play for that month for free if you subscribe with Nintendo Online, whatever. Yeah. Now it's just going to be a collection of games that you can just play anytime. So they said Mario 3 will be on there, Balloon Fight will be on there, Dr. Mario will be on there. Yeah, all the classics. And some other stuff. So that is pretty cool. So they're just always there. They're always there. And you can always play them. Yeah. You don't have to buy them. Nope. Uh, you should buy the service. You buy the $26 service. And then these work in an online fashion. So like yeah. me and my buddy down in Minnesota can play Mario Bros. 3. Probably. Like, I, like, that one's a weird one because it's not in real time. Yeah. That's like a taking turns type yeah. thing. And so that part's cool. The, the only downer is the whole voice chat, how you have to do it through an app and through this thing and this thing, and it is so confusing. Yeah, the phone app thing was that's weird. really confusing. But whatever. You know what? They're, they're trying this online thing for the first time, basically, trying to make it into something. So we'll see. See what happens. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm excited. I like the, the Netflix-style virtual console thing. What do you mean by Netflix-style? Well, you, you just oh, pay, you pay for, for the it service. you just pick what you want. It's always there. That is cool. I wonder if... Yeah, I just wonder how that works. Because is that just with this retro library? or? Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be a separate eShop virtual console for like yeah, N64. For... I would the imagine, are... yeah. Okay, I'll do the ports you're going to do. Or maybe they'll have premium... Yeah, that could be a thing. Because right. I would pay a hundred bucks a month to have, or not a month, a year, to have everything unlocked, like GameCube, N sixty four. Well, sure, but they're not going to do that. No, they like I don't think even Sony would do that. That's no. They want you to pay for the game again if they're. But for the retro stuff, simpler retro stuff, yeah. that's not a bad, that's not even a bad decision. No, that seems no, very not Nintendo. Actually. Very not Nintendo, which is, it's kind of exciting. But you know, if they go not Nintendo in one way. Then the rest of the way, they're going to go so hardcore Nintendo. <laughs> that it cancels that, out what they did before. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And one other small thing, Splatoon has its own pro controller coming out. I guess it's got some decals on there and stuff like that. Just whatever. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. It's still not a $90 controller. No, but I do like the, the Splatoon branding, like with the paint splatters also, and stuff. This took Bad idea. Hot? Oh, yeah. Getting warm? Yep. That hair, have you... Shane keeps threatening to cut his hair. Oh, I almost did. So many times. I'll be, I'll be very so upset with you. Times. I'll be very upset. So many times. No. But it's only because you and, and Dustin still have the flow that I'm, I'm keeping it. But Exactly. We just got to keep letting man. the mains the mains grow. It's what we need. No, I'm just ready for this to... Keep to it growing, grow. Dustin. We need to keep Shane accountable with us. Radical Rob, welcome to the stream, man. It's good to see you as well. Is that our news for the week? That is the news. All right. That's for not, the week. That's not bad. Then I guess we will tra transition, we'll switch over to this guy, or to this guy. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk bad. about... Oh, that's such a cringe-worthy... It's so bad, that whole presentation. That Nintendo Switch reveal, man, did people get fired. Oh, I hope so. Just that so guy. fired. P specifically that guy. <laughs> but you can't even blame the guy, because you know he didn't know anything going into it. And then if they change it up and stuff like that... Yeah... Are any of you wearing a wig? Are any of you wearing a wig? No. This is such an underrated channel. Well, thanks, Benjamin. There we go. That's the nicest comment we've ever heard. Rachel, yeah. welcome to the stream. It's good to see you as well. I've got ten people watching. Double digits. We're in the double digits. Okay, now I'm nervous. I know. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah, okay. Sweating. Um, uh, uh, shop, shop trades. Stories. Shop trades and stories. Okay, we got some cool stuff in. I, like, there's a game I've been wanting to own for right. over 15 years. That's right. During all of my collecting, I have not come across this game one time. And I was very happy to have it in here. It's a sealed special. copy of Learn Math. That, that we've had for a while. We have. But also in the dream list. Also the Jonas Brothers DS game. That's the Jonas we found, Brothers. We found today in here. Yeah. How dare we not put that on display? We, oh, that's behind glass. That that's a high ticket item. Yeah, laser beams surrounding the Yeah, Metroid, Super Metroid. Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. Yeah. 
Very excited about that. That's not bad at all. Yeah, the guy had that game and just a bunch of trash, basically. It was actually, uh, was that my cousin? Yeah. Yeah, my cousin. Yeah. So I have family, and, and a few of them, no one's as quite as into games as I am, but a few of them really appreciate the NES era, PS1 era. One of them came in here for like the first time that I've seen. Uh, you said he's been in here before, but this is the first time yeah. I've seen him in here. And the other funny thing is his wife and my wife are friends. Yeah, that's so that's I've weird. never met him really. Aside, I guess he's come in here a couple of times. I didn't recognize him. Yeah, but but yeah, that happened. Yeah, my cousin came by, he gave Shane a copy of, or traded a copy of Super Metroid, which is sweet. Yeah, it's not bad. That was cool. We also had somebody trade in some Nintendo powers. Yeah, there was uh, some GameCube era yep. ones in there. Yeah, there was what four or five of them in there. That was cool. Saw Pokemon. All of a sudden, we're getting Nintendo powers, eh? Yeah, I don't know where this. We came don't get from. anything for like a year, and then all of a sudden, now they're just trickling in. Yeah, like it's everything comes in phases. Yeah. Selling GameCube games in phases. Yeah. Getting cartridges in in phases. Yep. Yeah. Getting 360 games in all year round. All the time. That never stops. All the time. Uh, you got a copy of Star Fox in today? Star yeah. Fox 64. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, that was cool. I'm down with that. I just like it when you get cartridges in. Yes. I will take cartridges over discs any day. Any day. I don't want to see discs. And if it has to be a disc... PS1. PS1 or GameCube. There you go. And other than that, just keep it, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> I don't want to see that ugly lime green case when you... Little stack. I could just, Assassin's Creed's are in there. Your Halos are in there. Always. Call of Duty. Grand Theft Auto. All in there. Uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4. Yep, they're just... Just every time. It's like they sold them all as a bundle. <laughs> right, and then they sell them as a bundle. Just... Like, you, you pawn pay, them off. You pay $100, and you get these four games. And then they're just always together all the time. Yeah. And I don't understand that. No, it's it's weird. Everybody owns them, though. Like, even I own them. <laughs> I should bring those in for trade someday. No. Can I get in cash for no. that? No? No? Okay. Also, I have a I have a game coming in. Oh? That I'm pretty sure you'll like. Yeah. What are, we, what are we talking? Talking a game. Uh, for what console? It's a game. You can't be all elusive like yeah, this. We have I a, can. You can't. I can, yeah. You have to at least like give people something to go off of, not just nothing. You can't bring yeah, it up and well, then be like, yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it came with Mario Kart 64. It came with it? Yeah. So is it an N64 game? Because that would excite me greatly. It is. Is it? Is it a Mario game? It is not. It's not a Mario it's game. It's not a Mario game. No. No. Is it a main Nintendo IP game? No. No. Is it a Rare game? Ish. Is it by the company Rare? No. 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 Rare it. Is it Conker's? No. That's by Rare. Oh, you, oh, you said it wasn't. I said it's not a Rare. Oh. Another it's Worms. It's a Rare-ish game. Worm. It's not made by the company. Snowboard Kids. There you go. Really? Yeah. No way! Yeah. Oh, you did! Yep. Yeah, you did! Give me a... <laughs> I have been waiting a full year now. 365 days for Shane to get a copy of Snowboard Kids in this shop. Yep. It's coming. No way! It's coming. You didn't bring this up till now? Yep. I was one day, I was just going to get it, I was going to price it and just leave it in there. And then not tell me about it? <laughs> and then not tell you, just see how long it would go. <laughs> Oh man, that's so good. Then you make me tell it on here and then I have to... Oh. Well, you brought it up. Yeah. What do you think of the Avalon Outlaws bundle? I haven't really seen it. Uh, oh, I'm a big fan of that bundle. Yeah, big fan of yeah, that? Yeah, that's where you get the wizard guy and you get... Uh, the Avalon. The Avalon. Where are you going? We'll get more water, right? You're so unprofessional. I'm so thirsty. So unprofessional. But I'm still here. It sounds like you're peeing over there. <laughs> People can't see what you're doing. They just hear it. Well, that's fine. Now it's gurgling. <laughs> Keep it inside. No, that's just my stomach. Dude. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what else you got in this week. I've had. Uh, I've been working a lot. A bunch of PC games. Did you? I don't know what to do with that stuff. That the PC area is so full. I'm, I'm a little surprised you take PC them in. Stuff. Well, I I always tell them I'm going to give you almost nothing, and they okay. just want it to get rid of it because they don't want it either. So I can't throw it out. This is a game. Yeah, I know. I can't throw up games. Did that guy come by and pick up? Not yet. No? So, funny story. We have this... I was cleaning up the shop. We were moving a shelf out of this room into the main room. And I, there is this stack of 13 broken Xbox 360s. Yeah. And I give Shane so much flack about that. Like, get rid of them. Yeah. Put them on eBay. Throw them out. I don't know. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Just get rid of them. Shane refuses to throw them out. He won't do it. 
They're games. You can't do it. It's, a, it's, a, it's electronics. You can't throw it out. No. It's like Darlene with her speakers. Yeah. So, so you guys can relate. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, see? So, so there's this guy who came in here. So, no, I was leaving one day, and Shane's like, you know, tomorrow, man, they'll be gone. They're going to be gone but, tomorrow, I promise. Like, yeah, and he had no, like, intention of following that up. Just no. not like, right? But a guy comes in and shows interest in buying these 13 broken Xbox yeah, 360s. He almost did it. He, he's like, okay, hey, would I have to take it right now? Because I said I just want 100 bucks for it. That's it. And he's like, hey, do I have to take it right now? I'm like, no, you can take it whatever, later, tomorrow, whatever. He's like, hey, yeah, I'll, I'm going to look, look some stuff up, and I'll probably be back to take them. So I would have just loved to actually got oh, rid of them by tomorrow. That would have been without hilarious. Without throwing them out. That would have been hilarious. I would have been so impressed with you. Um, Elodia, uh, Ellie and Ellie are asking, how, what are your guys' feelings on the upcoming Crash Bandicoot game being released? <laughs> like the, uh, the, the twins, or the, the remakes? Or like yeah. the, I mean they're cool. Like I think it's I think I'm, I'm glad they're doing it. I like HD remaster. Like it was about time, right? They did the the Ratchet and Clank HD collection, the Jack and Daxter HD collection. Like yeah, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, the reason it couldn't get done is licensing was just all over the board on that thing. Yeah, so that was the biggest problem. Why it took so long? I think it's fine. Those games are just they're just outdated. It, oh, they are. It's a weird type of, of game that I don't think people are going to like aside from the nostalgia factor. Oh yeah, if you, hadn't, if you didn't play Crash as a kid, you're not going to buy it. No. If you played Crash as a kid, you're going to buy it. Absolutely, you're going to buy and it. And then not finish it, but you're going to yep. buy it. That's, like, it's hard to go back to. People don't seem to yeah. realize that unless they try. You can't. It, it's a hard game to play now. Um, Yeah, I guess you got a PS2 in today. That was pretty cool. A few controllers with it. <laughs> I like the PS2. I don't know why no one else cares, but it's a cool console. I don't like that thing. Dusty, have a good one, man. Thank you for stopping by. And yeah, I don't know if you... Anything worth mentioning. I thought we had some stories this week, but nothing's coming to mind, though. Well, uh, a guy who comes in here, his name is Roland. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a bigger dude like Shane, and he has a, a Dungeons and... He's a big Dungeons and Dragons fan. Someone stole his bag, apparently. Oh. All his D and D stuff, all his dice, and like all that all fancy his stuff. His character sheets, his books. So we're hoping this guy, whoever stole it, comes in the shop trying to trade it in. Oh. And we pull the we pull a PS4. We need an HDMI cable. We need an HDMI cable. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go back and that's a story. Oh man, that's still one of my favorite stories from the shop. Yeah. We talked about it before, but yeah, yeah, we did arrest the guy in the shop once. For those of you who don't know the story, if we could do that again. Guy brings in stolen goods. We keep him in the shop till the police run. That, that just legendary, yeah. legend, dairy, 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 legendary. Wait for it. Lactose and well, dairy. Hope you're not lactose and tolerant. Sorry for the old, uh, the old quote. The insane trilogy, and yeah, I'm basically the same with you. BRB cats are fighting. All right, good. They're fighting our record. Awesome. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a euphemism? Yeah, I think I think that might be. I thought you got a GameCube game in. Did you get another XD? Yeah, another XD came in. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. You, Shane, Shane we missed something. Oh? Yeah. Oh? What are you playing right now? Oh. <laughs> well, we're still going pretty hard on that Final Fantasy XIV online. Yeah, you are. There's no end in sight. Nope. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're stuck there for a while. I don't know if it's a six-month thing or a six-week thing or a six-year thing. I'm not really sure, but... That's where we are. I just, I mean, you, today you were you were tapering down. You're you're doing side quests but now. I know I wasn't. I'm not doing. I'm doing main quests still. Oh, we're, oh. but there's a a huge gap between the base game and the next expansion, and you have to do a bunch of stuff in between that to get there. And it's just whatever. It's not that much fun, but that's okay. Okay. I've played it so much, I, I should be starting to get a little bit sick of it anyway. I kind of like how the only thing I mean, you've been playing for a few weeks now is just an MMO. I have not even touched a different game. I didn't think you had. I didn't think so. I've been I've been streaming a lot of that that Wizard 101. Uh, Bose, welcome to the stream. Speaking of the game, um, yeah, it's I'm ready to just beat it, <laughs> like like Michael Jackson style. Like or? like you know, just, no one wants to be defeated. <laughs> like that, like that. Yeah, it's 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 fun. I really enjoy it. Streaming, it's a lot of the streaming part of it. Like streaming the game makes it more fun than it would be oh, just sure. playing it by a long shot. A long shot. 
And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I've been putting all my time into. I feel like just because everybody enjoys me playing it and watching, I feel like I can't stream anything else until I'm done it. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what everybody wants me to stream now, so... And no, it's, it's a good time, and I have uh, I have been enjoying it. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll move on to our topics. Unless yeah. you have another funny story to tell. No, I, I can't come up with any. No? No. Well, I know uh, a certain shop friend is coming back who was recently banned. Well, we're not sure about that yet. No? We're not sure about that one? <laughs> I think if he was allowed back, he'd probably be here already. It could be. Could be. I think he might be scared of you, though. Gabe, welcome Good. to the stream. How are you doing tonight, I, man? I do like it when people are scared of me. It's I nice. know you do. You want to fight everybody. I do. He's a violent man. You guys don't see it, but after the show, he beats me. Just a little bit. It's when those bags are under my eyes, they're black eyes. <laughs> I'm not tired. So we'll move on to our three topics of the week. Uh, it's the, the, the bulk of the podcast where we're going to be uh, putting most of our thought into. We have three topics uh, this week. Which one did you want to open up with? We have a few options. Not the last one. That one's the best one. Well, you introduce whichever one you want, and we'll go from there. So, we're going to go with the first one I wrote down, which okay. is, you have a friend. Yes. I have I, a friend? I, and I have a friend. What? Yeah. We both have friends now. What? Yeah. And our friends have never what? played a video game in oh. their life. Oh, I didn't think about this. Yes. So, we have to suggest a list of three games that would best be in their interest to know what a video game is and how to play a video game. Jonas Brothers for the DS. That was my choice. That's Learn Math for the DS. Also my, one of my choices. Mary, Kate, and Ashley, Sweet oh, okay. Sixteen. I went with Sudoku Chronicles. <laughs> Sudoku Chronicles. <laughs> the Sudoku Saga. <laughs> Part 5. Yeah. 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 There you go. But realistically, what do you, what do, you do? Do you... I feel like the three games you pick all have to be different genres. Yep. And they each kind of have to start old school, get a mid school, get a new school. I was thinking about that too, but I think if they have never played a game playing anything new, it's just going to be impossible. It's true. That is true. If you're taking your grandpa out of the basement. And if I if I show him, hey, here's the Final Fantasy XIV online, go. What the hell? What am I doing? What, wait, there's, there's a keyboard? What button? Do, like, it's true. You, you, show an old, you show an older just... person like The Last of Us, they don't know what to do. No. There's too many buttons. There's too yeah. many configuration. Yeah. So, I think it's not a nice answer, but you almost have to go with a Tetris. Tetris. Do you do Tetris or Dr. Mario? I'd probably go Tetris. I think I'd show Dr. Mario. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe, no, maybe Tetris. I never liked Dr. Mario that much as a game. I'm not a big fan either. Um, I mean, if if anything, I would I'd love to show Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Well, that's it. Or Pio Pio Tetris. There you go. <laughs> Same thing. Um, well, I think I think I'd have to I th Mario Bros. Three would be on my list. Yeah, specifically, uh, just because that's you know it's, one, it's Mario. If you're showing this person games for the first time, you gotta show them Mario. Absolutely. And if you're going to pick a Mario game to show somebody, I think that's just the one you Yeah, you I show. always go between one and three. Yeah, one, it just one, one is shorter. It is. There's less to it. But that's, it, there's less to it. Exactly. It's but not as complicated. True, but three isn't so complicated to the point where they wouldn't get it. Yeah. It's just a better game. Yeah. Which is why I think. But I struggle to find something that would be on the 64 or PS1. No, you that can't. Would... You can't show him a Banjo Kazooie game. It just doesn't. It's no. a weird first game to play ever, ever. I, I almost think uh, uh, like an old school arcade game might be. I was thinking a shooter, like shooter, Defender, Galaga. Yeah, Space Invaders. Space Invaders. That was one I was playing with in my mind a little bit. Something like that, because you need something that's fun and it, it's simple to grasp. Like even Pong. Yeah. Would be a... The first game. Pong might even be a better answer than Tetris, actually. Snake, too. Snake would be yeah. cool. It's another... So, like, all e these simple... E.T. for the Atari would, e would also be... <laughs> Everyone's uh, favorite. Favorite. Just classic. Classic game. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's a hard thing, because I don't... Yeah, you can't do anything new too new. Anything with a 3D space, you just can't... Like, just imagine picking up Breath of the Wild as the first game you've ever played in your life. That would literally just, blow your mind. What would you... Like, you like, wouldn't even know what. What for one, is. you'd probably be holding it like this. Yeah, like you don't even like, yeah, because you don't you've never held the controller before. Yeah, this is this is all new to you. This is all new to you. 
Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mark two on my list. I'm gonna say Mario Bros. Three. Okay. And Space Invaders. Okay. Then I'm gonna go Pong and Mario Bros. One. One. You can go one. Yeah. Okay. Let us know uh, whose list you like better. Who's the, whose list you'd choose? I'm, I'm curious. Or uh, your own list, even. That'd be cool as well. Um, some kind of Mario game. Oh, some kind of monster. I feel it deep within. It's just beneath the skin. Smash Bros. You could not show someone Smash Bros. If if you're doing a fighter game, then it would have to be Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. A 3D fighting... Or not 3D, but... All that stuff going on. It's got anything that's too much. It's got to be simple to look at. Like you can't. It can't be too realistic looking. The realism will throw you. Because you have to think, not what's a good game, but what's fun to play for just a little bit that would just really entice you. Okay, well let's go with that. What was the first game that ever really got you interested in? Well, the first game I ever played. I don't care that you played. The the game that you ever. The first well, game you remember, like... Well, it was Mario 1, and it gripped me like a like a mofo. So. Like a mofo. So, so, yeah, Mario 1 could be a good choice, then, right? Yeah, I think so. Man, I don't even know what the first... <laughs> Man, that would be... Well, for me, it'd be a little weird, because it'd probably be the N64 era. Which did get me into games, I guess. But... Man, that's weird to think about. Jeez. I don't know. Because, yeah, I think the first game I ever really... That dragged me into games was Mario 64, actually. But you can't... Like, I make the argument that you can't show somebody that now. But it, it, it did impress me, and that's what got me into games as a yeah. kid. But why would you pick Mario 64 over, like, Galaxy now, right? Like, I know we believe it's I know, it's because, it's yeah, the nostalgic factor in us and what we started with is what everybody should be starting with. Yeah, right? that's exactly... So that's kind of the, the problem. As a third choice, I might even go with a Mario Kart 64. Mario? Oh, a racer. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Because, yeah, racing games aren't just awesome games that you just love as being the best and whatever. But as as showing somebody a game, like, they're going to have fun with it. Yeah, absolutely you know? they will. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with Pong, which is multiplayer, Mario Kart 64, which is multiplayer, and then you've got your solo Mario Bros. 1. Which will feel like an open world RPG if you've never played a game in your life. That'll be huge. <laughs> it will feel like a ever expanding game. Oh man, I had a guy on Facebook that we were oh, arguing right. back and forth that he said he could beat Mario One in under four minutes. That's right. And I was just I was trying to be nice and I'm like, dude, there's no way you can beat that in under four. Like the world record is just under five. And this guy thinks he can cut that by a full minute? Not a chance. It's just not happening. Repnomancer, welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, no. Because you can do 549, which is the Canadian record. With dying. With dying. Once. once. So that should be a lot better. Well, yeah. I still need you to do the thing. Yeah, I know what you do. We'll get there. Yeah. It's okay, um, I'm busy MMOing over there. I know, you got, a, yeah, you got a lot on your plate in the shop. Oh. Lots of business, just papers to fill out, oh, contracts, so much employees to... Stuff. Employees to get their tax forms out. Like you got a lot to do. I get it, man. So yeah, my third game, man. I'm I'm almost on board with that Mario Kart idea, but I don't want to pick the same one. You can. I, I know I, I think can. It's a very good choice. It, it is. You're. You're right. Is Mario Kart the right choice though? Yeah, it probably is. I don't know what would be better. Like like what about one of those even more retro racing style games? Like we're, we're going like. If we're going retro style racing, RC Pro Am was one of my favorite racing games. Yeah, I remember you liked that one, yeah. Made by Rare, just a lot of fun. But Mario Kart would be a better no, I'm gonna, overall experience. I'm gonna agree with you on that. I'm yeah. gonna go with Mario Kart. That's just that'll be that game when you're bored of the other two, after all your hours of playing them, you can always go back to that one. Yeah. Because that one just never the fun doesn't really end. Yeah. Because you can always end. And you got the battle people. mode and you got all this stuff, so yeah, I think that's a very solid list. And it's the most, like, it's the least complicated to understand. That's why, that's yeah. why I would pick 64. And that Z button is so damn it's a, satisfying. It's a good button. So satisfying down there. Quite po- quite possibly the best button on a controller. The best button? Yeah, the best button on a controller. I would argue it's on the worst controller of all time. I, w- I would say it's the most satisfying button I think it's I think it's the best button. That might It might be the best button. I'm going to try to think of a... 
a, a better, better button? A better button. <laughs> How funny would it be if the best button of all time was on the worst design controller? The best button. Just think about that for a second. Yeah. A uh, button number 13 on the Atari Jaguar <laughs> controller. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the middle third row. <laughs> All that thing is ugly. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, so there's our three games. I'd love to know if you were going to pick a game that to show somebody like your grandpa for the first time, and to blow his mind, he's never seen a game in his life, never heard of video games, and you're going to pick one. What would you What would you pick? I've, I'm very curious to what other people's answers would be. And don't say Wizard 101. That's a bad option. That would be a very bad option. All right, so we'll move on to our second topic. Uh, which one were you saving for last? <laughs> this one. Okay. The E3 one. Okay, gotcha. In that case, um, what's the other one then? <laughs> you came up with that one, with your second character thing. Ah, okay, good, good. I like this one. So if we, all right, let's let's look at games and, and all the main characters in the game. You got your Mario, your you got your Zelda, you got your Master Chief from Halo, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Let's pick a character from a game who we who we thought was just an underrated an underrated character. Uh, who did, never got a game where they starred as the main, the main IP? What character do we think? What secondary character in a video game uh, do we think deserve their own game? So I have a bad answer. A bad but answer. It's partially, I would want to play this game. Answer. Okay. So Big the Cat in the first oh. Sonic Adventure. He does have when a game. You're, when you're, he does have a game. Big's fishing. Tur- tourney really? Or something? That was a thing? He has a fishing tournament game. Oh. Yes. That's a... It was on the DS or the... I think it was on the DS. We're going to look this the up. the Game Boy Advance or something? We're going to look this up right now. Now that I... Yeah, now that you mention it, I almost do remember that it was... I need to get this game. Big the Cat's fishing tourney or something like that. Sonic Big the Cat... Uh, this is all actual fishing. Sonic... I'm going to buy this right now. <laughs> Big the Cat... Fishing game. I know this is a thing. Steam community. Big the cat fishing? Is that it? Big the... Big's fishing derby. Big's fishing derby? Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a thing. Big's Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Retro. So a There's a walkthrough for it on YouTube. Yeah, there it is. It's a Sega Genesis game? Big's Fishing Derby. It's a game. Can, wow. Can you believe that? I want this. Do you, I, hear, I hear it's terrible. Oh, man. The only one on eBay. <laughs> I knew it was a thing. It's going to run me 90 bucks. 90. But I want it. You want Big's Fishing Derby? <laughs> that Sega Genesis? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Captain Retro, welcome to the stream, sir. I really do. My grandfathers were they alive or baseball fanatics, so I'd show them the show. I'd blow their minds. Yeah, yeah you're a big baseball guy. Yeah, that would, yeah, that would blow minds. Tall, tall. Welcome to the stream, sir. Interesting. You pick a sports game, but for your grandfather specifically. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, big the cat's fishing derby. <laughs> Can we get a live purchase for the shop? On I would. Lo- if it was less than thirty dollars, I would have bought it. But man, ninety bucks. It's a it's a weird game. I didn't think it was on the Genesis. I thought it was a DS game. I always yeah. I'm I'm surprised by that. Or even a so game yeah, boy. there goes my answer. Man, I didn't really think of much else after that. Unfortunately, I didn't think about this one at all, and it was my question. Let me just quickly, quickly. Wrap through something in my mind here. I loved. So I, I make it no secret that I really like uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and there's a lot of for the reason that the characters in that game are just awesome. Uh, I wouldn't mind um, a, a spinoff of that game that stars the character Woozy. Uh, he's like this uh, sort of a a gang leader, but they're like a sophisticated kind of like a mafia type gang. But a nice mafia? It's like, sort of. They're the good guy mafia. Okay, okay. So like Robin Hood mafia? S- sort of. Okay. The, the dude is blind. Oh. He's a he's blind, but he runs this, like, okay, how, how is this going to work? You can't have a game with a blind guy. Yeah, you can. As the main guy? Yeah, you can. That does not work. It'll work. How? Make it Make a Grand Theft Auto style oh, game. Oh, it's going to be dark. <laughs> you can make that game right now. You don't, you don't, it's, a, it's not a first person game. Hey, you want to make that game? It's not first person. Close your eyes. First person doesn't work for Close this. Close your eyes. It's a third person game. 
But how, you can't walk now. Yeah, you can't. He's not impaired. He just can't. But you can walk. You're not going to know where you're going. Yeah, you will. It's not first person. No, it's if it's third person, you're still, you're going to be, you're going to be walking, but you're going to be walking slow. Well, maybe it won't work that way. You'll have like a guide or something. I don't know. A guide. Or maybe you won't play as Woozy, but he'll be, well, let's see the main character. Maybe he'll be like, your, I don't know. It'd be cool. It doesn't work. It'd be cool. No. Work with me on this one. Rockstar will say no. Big the cat. I can't believe you picked Big the cat. But Those you're fishing your... things in Sonic Adventure were a lot of fun. In Sonic Adventure, sure. Yeah. You gotta get froggy. Sure, the, the sure, gotta... fine, 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 fine. Yeah. Can we get like a, a dry bones game based game, like the character dry bones? He was always my favorite in Mario in the newer Mario cards, anyway. Uh, maybe a World War II shooter or Battlefield. No, <laughs> I would not show someone Battlefield. At all. That's just a bad... Like, that would kill somebody who's playing games for the first time. Rainy Day, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. We're talking about uh, what character, secondary character in a video game we deserves, think yeah. deserves their own game. So I got another one. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's talked about online quite often. There's a character in Final Fantasy X named uh, Oron. Ah. And he's always... You get glimpse of, uh, glimpses of his story and stuff like that and all that sort of thing. But if there would be a full game based around him, I think that would be really kick-ass. And I think a lot of people would like that. Yeah? And myself included, I would buy that game right away. So I'm sure there is one. But this is kind of like a Big the Cat type thing. Sort of a little better than Big okay. the Cat, though. Because you got your Mario games, right? A yeah. lot of them. Yeah. You got a few Luigi games. Yeah. We have our Wario Lands. Yes. Where's the Waluigi games at? There has not been a Waluigi game. At all. So where's Waluigi's Mansion? Like, where's that? I don't know what kind of game you'd make for him, but he needs a game. Does he show up in Wario World at all? Wario World? No. Because I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity to have just the two of them being buddies through that whole thing. It could have been. It could have been so funny. It could have been. They always had awesome dialogue, and you watch the even the cutscenes or the opening scenes of... Mario Golf and Mario Tennis, like they're always hilarious. They are. They could have a funny game. Absolutely. But they just I never... wonder. I wonder. It, there's a one percent chance I'm right here. One percent. But for a lot of years, uh, the, one of the developers that was making games with the Nintendo, specifically the Mario Golf, Mario Tennis stuff like that, there was called Came a Lot. Yeah. And they're not around anymore. I don't think. But they had an RPG in development. What if it was a Wario and Luigi oh, RPG? I would play that to right? death. I would also play that because that'd be a funny because RPG. I remember at the at the in the, like every Nintendo Power in the back they would say upcoming games and it was always came a lot RPG came a lot RPG and that's all we ever saw and that was that was it and it got canceled and all of a sudden it just disappeared and it was never talked about again. No way! But can you imagine if all of a sudden that was the thing? Man, that would be cool. Well, let's look at the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga Inside Bowser's Story, whatever, all those games. If you, like, the games are funny, right? The yeah. dialogue's good. If you, I think they'd be so much better if they went from Mario and Luigi to Wario and Waluigi yeah. stu Superstar Saga. I would be so much more tempted to play that. Like, I don't even, like, even if, even if just one off in, in, yeah. in the installment. Yeah. Or even Mario and Luigi... And then you make Waluigi and Wario also part of it. Like, yeah. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Why has that not been done yet? I don't know. That just seems obvious to me now that I've said it out loud. Yeah. Even if you would do a thing where the the whole game is based around sort of like an amazing race type deal. And you're playing as Mario and Luigi. And then Wario and Waluigi, they're just, they're cheating. But then their ship breaks and like, they're... Then they gotta go somewhere else. They want to cheat again, but then something happens, and then you always end up catching up to them. Yeah. But during the whole thing, they just think they're so far ahead and so smart and all that stuff. Just like those old school cartoons, I feel like that would that would just be perfect. Well, I think of these guys, and I try to think of any other genre, right? Platformer. It was kind of cool for Wild Your World, but for both of them, I don't see it really. Yeah. Just an RPG would be perfect. Yeah. All right, you need to go email Wiyamoto. Okay. Get him on this. I'll give him a call soon and. And shoot him a shoot him a quick carrier pigeon. Yep. And then we'll uh, we'll get that we'll get that done. Yep. Coming up next Funny month. thing is the carrier pigeon we use has gotten so good that it'll now fly down. It'll unzip his fanny pack. <laughs> it'll drop it in a slot. And yes. It'll zip it back up, and then it'll get out. Of and it. then he comes back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Really he's, cool. He's a talented little guy. Really cool. Joffrey. That's what we call him. Not Jeffrey. It's Joffrey. Yeah. Cute little dude. 
Cute little guy. Cute little guy. Uh, so yeah, that's what, man, secondary. I mean, they do, do I count that as my answer? Okay, on and off. Oh, that was basically me, but. True, true. Yeah. yeah. On and off. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you brought up Big You just cash. came up with Waluigi. So? And I came up with the rest. You came up with. Get, a, you came up with having and a game. And then this came along, RPG. Yeah, but I started RPG. it. Nah, I started it. On. You built off of it. No. I started it. I, I laid the foundation. You, you built, didn't even lay you the built foundation, the framework. Man. You built the framework. You just gave you me a name. You said big the cat. You, I you said gave Waluigi. me a name and said, okay, make something out of this. Get out. No. And then I did. I'm not going to count it, but I think on a totally off subject thing, if a Wario and Waluigi starting, starting RPG came out, I would play that to death. Yeah, that would be sweet. I would as way balls. sooner play that than Super Paper Mario. Yeah. Way you're, sooner. You're gonna play it though. <sighs> you're gonna play it. No. In terms of like a lesser known character, that 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 I think like I'm just an underrated side character in a game. I I know I have one. I just I wish I, I should. Did the this. Pac-Man ghosts ever have their own little thing? I don't think so. No. They were in my mind earlier, but they're not that interesting. They're just. No, but... They're just ghosts. Yeah. They did have that weird... They were kind of the villain in Pac-Man World 1 and Pac-Man World 2. They had more of a, they had more personalities in that, which was cool. Yeah. They weren't just the four colorful specs on screen. Yeah. Because, like, in Breath of the Wild, like, is there... Mm -hmm. Because I'm just I, I I like I'm blanking on one right now, but I know that there's been a time in my life where I'm playing through a game and like there's a there's a side yeah, character that you and just he's love. Just, he's just a cool guy. Yeah. And I just I can't click in my mind one right now. It doesn't matter now, but I remember Colorado in Paper Mario. Yeah. I really liked that guy and wanted to know more about these adventures, these archaeological things that they went and did. Yeah. But that would just be a boring thing now. It would be, but yeah, back then I thought back the same then thing. I was I was down for that for sure. And there's that Egyptian level in there. Oh man! Oh, Tutan Kuba that just makes me want to play that. Right? It's a great game. It's I haven't great. I haven't touched it. In you brought five, it five or six years. You no, you were playing it uh, last summer. Oh, summer. that's right. I did st that one day. I was really sick. Yeah, so you just played up until like, like I don't even Kuba know. Fortress and stopped. Oh, I was sick that day. Yeah, you were. Oh man. I was playing Thousand Year Door next to you for a little bit. That's right. I've had two or three days where I've just been really sick. Rosalina deserves her own game? I wonder how I saw that and all that in the midst of chat. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Yeah, Ro Rosalina could be a cool one. Brock from Pokemon? That'd be interesting. I'm curious about that. Yeah, Rosalina could... I know a lot of people... She's one of those characters a lot of people look at and love. Yeah. I was thinking about Waluigi. I'm glad somebody else was. Um, Lydia Gray Rose from Pusher 101. Great. Great. Okay. You gotta get rid of that clicky mouse. Yeah, that thing's loud. Ah, uh, I just, I know I got, I can't, it, like, you loved The Last of Us. There's something in that game. Character who, the, aside from the main characters. That's, yeah, that's kind of, No, not really. No? No, they do a good job, kind of. And they're still making it, so they're still... I still can't believe there's going to be a second one. Yeah, when that's that weird. That game comes out. I'm going to I'm gonna play it here. Probably in this room. With all the lights off, headphones on, and I'm going to get it at 12 o'clock midnight. And you're staying here all night. I, know, I'm, I might try to beat it in one playthrough. In, oh, dude, that's insane. Yeah. That's ins no I way. I want to try it. No way. I'm going to try it. That'd be a fun experience. I'll give you that Forget much. Forget how long the first one was. I think the first one was actually 18 hours. That would be tough. Did it take you 18 hours? To beat it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think. Right, so what we got out of this was is what we, was what we need. What we need is Wario and Waluigi Superstar Saga, and Big the Cat's Fitch, Big Big the Cat's Fishing Derby Remastered. Yeah, HD. I would I would buy both of those HD collection. Those are what we need. Yeah, get on that stuff. Get on that. I wonder if I can bring up any info on this canceled Camelot RPG. Camelot RPG. I haven't. I don't know why I thought about it. I never knew this was a thing. I never knew this was a thing. 
But uh, yeah, while Shane is looking that up, we'll introduce our third and final topic for the night. They still have the IGN article from 2001? Really? The maker of Mario Tennis confirms GameCube plans and hints at an RPG in the works. Man, that's so old. 16 years ago. Yeah. Is that like the actual web page for the article, or is that like just reposted online? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why they would still have this up from 16 years ago. Uh, if you could be in any video game, that but you had to be the villain, what game would you pick? But you had to be the villain? What's a game where the villain wins? <laughs> I almost want to be in a Star Wars game. Being a Sith would be badass. Ruling all your little pawns. Any Star Wars game would be cool. Other than, like, the weird spin-off ones. I would want to be a villain in Vice City. In Vice City? Want yeah. to be a crime lord? Yeah. Yeah? That's not bad. I don't mind that. Yeah. Sure. Set in the 80s. Yeah, there you go. So, it's, it's all right. I see where you're going with that. Anyway, our third topic of the day is going to be... Nintendo has promised us a, a really big E3. Like their biggest yeah. E3, they're, they're saying it's gonna. There's gonna be a lot announced. There's a lot to, to to talk about. A lot to show. Do we think it's gonna be big? Do we believe the hype? Is is what we're gonna be talking about. David Atwood, welcome to the stream, sir. It's always good to see you. Welcome here, man. The thing with Nintendo is they're just so unpredictable. They are. They'll tell you something, and then they'll be like, "We have a huge Nintendo Direct coming here. Huge." Oh, we got, uh, yeah, we got half of it about arms, and the other half is about nothing. All right, thanks for this massive... I, don't think, I like, they didn't say that. It was just no, a, it was just a but they are hyping up E3 a lot, and they are rolling into E3 with a lot of momentum, which doesn't happen very often. No, they're this trying. This is a very... They're surprising me daily that they're staying relevant with the Switch, and they're, like, it's gonna be passing the Wii U lifetime sales like now in, in a few months <laughs> yeah which is just I, I just I can't believe it for how little games is on this thing and they're they're doing it it's crazy but yeah they're pronounced or they're as saying that they're gonna have a massive e3 and with them announcing pocket tournament today that makes me think that they really do have a big E3 because that was that stuff. didn't that didn't make it to because the presentation. that that could have easily been part of it and people would have loved it so if that doesn't make the cut because I mean it's what like, does make it's the like cut we're what two weeks away or like a week and a half or something yeah we're close yeah so we're like, 16th yeah in a week and a half so like yeah they've mentioned the virtual console thing with their Nintendo online stuff so that's definitely going to be there. I'm hoping they have the GameCube content. I would love for there to be some Dreamcast content on this thing. Why do you think that's going to happen? Because I just don't. <laughs> well, Sega has always had stuff on there, and they've had a good relationship over the last, whatever, 10, 15 years. I guess. And I'd be down for that, 100%. It'd be cool, sure. I just yeah. don't, like, it's... it's... It wouldn't be a big announcement. I, I would just like it. No? But, right. Yeah, GameCube Virtual Console would be huge. They have to announce even, it. Even, even, no. If they would kind of reverse engineer a little bit of Wii games and make Skyward Sword playable with a controller. Yeah, because. Something like that. It's funny you bring that up, actually, because that is the only 3D open world Zelda game. I say open world. 3D R R RPG Zelda game that hasn't been had, has, hasn't had a remaster yet. So I can almost 100% guarantee it will have a remaster on yeah. Switch. Yeah. And they will use the controller, and you can play it like a normal game. That would be cool. Be like the reverse engineering of of the Twilight Princess to the Wii. That's like, yeah, it's a reverse of that. I I can I, I feel like that's gonna happen. I'll make I'll even like I put money on that actually. This year, like this this year. Ooh, <laughs> no, I don't know about that. That's a bold. In fact, I I don't know about that. In fact, I don't think they would actually. I think they'd wait till next year because yeah. of Breath of the Wild and all that. But they like it will happen on the I'm, Switch. I'm sure we're gonna get some Breath of the Wild story DLC, uh, like the part two of the DLC that's coming out later. Yeah. Speaking of that part one DLC, that's gotta come out real soon. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna have to actually play that. I don't know when that is getting released. They haven't announced it yet, I guess. Has to be soon. Must be. They might be announcing. I'm excited that. to get all confused with the B and the A again. Ugh. 
Man, I hate that. Can can all companies just agree on one configuration and make it work? Just why? I don't, yeah. I don't know. It's how they've always done it, too, though. That's what's weird. Yeah. But on the GameCube controller, it just didn't feel weird because the buttons were bigger and smaller. Yeah. So whatever. What else is going to be there? Nintendo. I think they'll... I, I'm surprised they didn't do it yet, but because they did Poke, Pokemon Tournament, Mario Maker will be on the Switch. Uh, I'm predicting that they will announce the GameCube Virtual Console. They have to. Like, it's yeah. it's all but confirmed. Yeah. I, I'm wondering what... Because they've promised a big... This is this is what I've been thinking about. They've promised a big E3, which means they're going to be announcing some big games. Yeah. What games are they announcing? Do, do we get that Metroid? We gotta get that Metroid. Is that what we're waiting I don't, like, for? You know what? I want this Metroid really bad, but I'll be fine if if they at least just show what Retro's doing, even if it's not a Metroid. I'm going to be fine with it. I just want to see what they're doing. Because the last time they were given this amount of time and this amount of freedom... They came up with Metroid Prime, which was just amazing because we hadn't had a Metroid game since Super Metroid. And they changed the game completely, made it into what they wanted to, and it was amazing. And it worked. It, yeah. It was just awesome. So, yeah, maybe they're working on a different IP altogether. Maybe it's a, a brand new one. Who knows? But whatever it's going to be, it's going to be great. And I'm excited for it. Yeah, it'll be weird. It's so do you think they're gonna announce it though? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. That's the game? They've been quiet for too long. It's been over three years now, I think. And that's yeah, now's the time. They like this is the this is the time. Yeah. They will not be as high on everybody's radar as they are right now. It's they have not been it, here in a while. It makes sense too. But because it makes sense, I feel like it's not gonna happen. That's my That's thing. the problem with yeah. Nintendo. If it makes Total, Any sense. complete sense, then it won't happen. It's true. And yeah, you know we're going to see ARMS there, we're going to see Splatoon yeah. 2 there and stuff, and yeah, whatever, people love that stuff. It, it, I don't get excited, it's not a... No, it's just, yeah, I feel the... Splatoon 2 is cool, but I haven't played enough to get excited about it. Uh, ARMS, whatever, they'll have a big portion of ARMS. Um, I'm wondering, yeah, they're going to talk about... I'm excited to hear them talk more about Mario Odyssey. I'm sure they'll do that. Yeah. They'll expand a bit on that game. They're... For some reason in Canada, they're rolling out early demo units. Are they? At I think it's Best Buys or something. In Canada? Yeah. When's that happening? I don't know. But we'll have to keep our eyes out for that. Yeah, I'd be down for a copy of that. <laughs> I'll give anyone 20 bucks if someone orders pizza at the game shop. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, where did that come from? Did we miss something here? I don't know. Send pizza to his house. <laughs> Never mind Canada as a special... Where did this come from? <laughs> SWAT team is exclusive to America? He lives in a small town, he isn't going to get swatted. swatted. I'm surprised. Swatting is when you call the SWAT while you're streaming and saying, like, we're doing something illegal and we'll oh, come yeah. and break in your... Yeah. yeah. It's a real thing. Super Mario 64. HD I don't know thing. where the... Pizza sounds good. Anyone want, willing to buy... It turned from Gabe wanting pizza... To, to send to them send, pizza. Send us pizza. I mean, <laughs> I mean, by all means, by all means. Two forty-eight Lumber Avenue, Steinbeck, Manitoba. <laughs> I want to see twenty minutes. I want to see a pizza walk through that door. Yeah. So, so obviously they're going to talk about Mario Odyssey, which is which is big. I think they'll talk about some some big third-party stuff because they what they have Bethesda. I want to see a Sonic Spinball HD. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. I think we'll hear more about Sonic Forces. We're gonna hear more. Yeah, about that. that'll be there. That game, I. Just I don't yeah it's whatever I just don't really care yeah I like uh, yeah, whatever it's... whatever I I haven't cared about a Sonic game in a long time so I think it's I think it's cool but yeah I don't get excited about them to play no. them or anything uh probably hear a little bit about Sonic Mania they'll have something on Mario Kart I guess we'll talk about they'll touch on that will they they'll touch on it for what I don't know maybe. They might say how many units it sold and stuff like that but they're not gonna have anything new come up it won't no but they'll talk about it. I'm just, I'm just running yeah. through what's going to happen. I think I think we get a Mario Maker HD. A Mario Maker HD? Like, just Mario Maker, you mean? <laughs> yeah, Mario Maker. DX. Is DX, that? yeah, whatever. Or literally just a port of Mario Maker. Yeah, which is, is all it needs. Yeah, that's... You don't need that. You don't need that. 50 anything. pizzas to the game shop. No. <laughs> there you go. Can, I, can they all be uh, cheese only, please? Just cheese. Cheese and onion. Cheese and onion. Yeah. That's what we believe in at the game shop. The official... Uh, a pizza of the extra life stop and swap, stop swap. And swap shop, game shop experience zone. Um, I had a I had a good 
idea for something, and it just kind of. The new Harvest Moon game was announced, by the way. That was oh, cool. Yeah. That was yeah. cool. It's cool seeing another Harvest Moon game come out. Like that's... I imagine we'll get a Skyrim release date because people still care about that. Oh, right, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, we'll get that. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure Bethesda will have something to say. Unless if I'm right and it's never going to come out, you could still be right. That's that's unbelievably that's... unlikely at this point. Sure, but it's been quiet for a long time. It has been a little quiet. It's, and that's that's what I mean. That's what happens when things get revealed and and shown. A lot of that stuff never sees the light of day. Well, they're all right. So they're gonna have a like I think, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like a segment of this of this conference that's gonna be like uh, third party related. I think we'll finally get a release date for ukulele on the Switch, which is long and over and already. But yeah, we'll finally know when that's yeah, coming out. I don't know if that'll even be there. I think it will. That'll be on a little like fire reel at the at the end of the thing. Maybe. Yeah, like it's not gonna be like a yeah. big announcement. It's just yeah. it'll be there. They're gonna get the date. And yeah, as well as some other third-party stuff, they'll announce some new third-party stuff. I don't know what. I don't know what to expect. New New Castlevania. Get a new Castlevania. Bloodstained. Right. So we ain't getting a new Castlevania. But Mario Odyssey, man, I want to see more of that. Yeah, I would be excited. I just want to. I want to be blown away. I want to. I want to see them say something. Be like, no way. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah, and because we, they're we saying, gotta watch that together whenever that conference is. Well, it's just a shame it's on. The, the, the shitty thing about this is E3 this year is on a really big like the one event we have in this town of year. On... It's on Summer in the City. Oh, what? Yeah, it's the first day of Summer in the City. Oh, does that suck? It does. We have this big fair thing in town. Like they for shut one down the Main year. Street and everything. It's just it's a big deal. Yeah, it's been going on for what six years now or something. Yeah. It's a, who's, I think Tom Cochran's coming this year again, which is cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, whatever. That so, sucks, Ball. Well, I mean, we'll see when the actual... Yeah, I don't know when everything's being released when the live streams are. You know what would be cool? We should just have the E3 streams going on this TV just in there. Why this TV? Just we have that day. TV. We have that TV. Yeah, we'll put this one on the counter and we'll do it there. I mean, we could do that. I like that better. Sure. Yeah. Why not? I'm down. That'd be cool. So yeah, we have this big event, and during this event is the exact weekend, which is uh, Summer in the City where we live, as well as I, I'm working all weekend, like all day, every day. So we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty sure it's on the on the on that same. Oh man, that's not always like it, is it? No, that just happened this year. Maybe huh. I don't know if the date changed for E3 or Summer in the City's on a on a later weekend, earlier weekend. I don't know. Yeah, that that kind of sucks, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought. I could be wrong. I hope I, I kind of hope I am. But yeah, I think they will know? have a lot to say. No. I just we're 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 in the clear. Are we? I think so. When's the E3 conference? Uh, June thirteenth to fifteenth. Oh, so literally the, the just three before. days before Tuesday to Thursday, and, and then, then Friday is summer in the city. We thank you. We're good. That oh, was good. really loud. I bet I do work split shifts on those days though. Wow, that they sucks. Gave, they gave me five in a row. Wow. Yep. Good paycheck, but yeah. I won't. I won't be living that five days. Maybe some of this paycheck will make you're, its way. You're gonna get your money, bud. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's way. My wallet's right there. I'm I know. Saying, I'm just saying. I know it is. I'm I just saying. You I can know. just. You Emiliano, can just, welcome to the stream. You just Hi. You look right good. Talk to me. How you doing, man? What, what's what's big that? What's Big Daddy's real name? Uh, Wayne. Wayne Shaw. Wayne Shaw. <laughs> yeah, Wayne Shaw. <laughs> So yeah, I, I think to, just idea. to just to wrap this up a little bit. Okay. Nintendo's conference, I think it's gonna be it's not gonna be huge. It needs to be huge. It's not gonna be it's not going to be. But it needs to be. But it's gonna be big. It'll be, like it'll be they'll announce some so stuff. So out of ten. It's gonna be a seven. That's where I think it, they need to hit a nine. But it, it'll I know I want them to hit it'll nine. be a seven. I'm just I'm predicting a seven. Yeah. I don't think it'll be anything, anything less than that. A six would be very disappointing. Yeah, if that's what they, it's that, that's what we're coming out with. Yeah, it'll be a seven. That's what I'm. That's what I'm calling. So, that's E3. What are you guys most excited for for the Switch? I'm curious. Um, and then we'll, we'll wrap things up. We're wrapping things up. We're winding it down. We're winding down. We're winding down. Good, because I need more water. Because this is now. I like every episode, I always say winding down, and then you repeat it back to me. Literally every episode. Yeah. <laughs> I do it on purpose. With 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 a personal story. Some personal stories from winding, from, winding down from myself and Shane, together, together. Forever. Yeah. Do Do you have a personal story to share? My personal story. Yes. This week is going to be one of my birthday parties in grade 
Oh. What was it? Six? Okay. Seven? Sure. Well, one of those one of those times. I forget how old I was, but Game, grade six, you were like, no. GameCube was was just a thing. So that would have been grade seven or eight, actually. Okay. And uh, we wanted to get Smash Bros. because it was just coming out. So, yeah, yeah, whatever. It was just coming out or something like that. So then we were going to go rent it. And the nearest game shop was like a half hour away. So we go there to rent it. And, yeah, it's still there. Awesome. That's always one of the most nerve-wracking things when you go to the game shop. And it's not there. And it's not there. Someone rented it. Yep. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. The that's worst always harsh. Feeling. So we go there, and, yeah, it's there. Awesome. So whatever. We get it. I buy another controller because I only had two, and it was three of us. Yeah. So I, I bought another controller because they didn't rent those. So we leave, and we drive home. Good. So we get home. Open the case, and there's a Mario Sunshine desk in there. No way. Yeah. Oh man, that's bad. Yeah. So I had called. Had, I called there. Had you played Sunshine before up to that point? Yeah, I owned it. At oh, time. okay, that sucks. Yeah, and I was very disappointed with that because I, whatever, I didn't want to play. I already had Sunshine. I didn't need it. So I called there like, oh, yeah, we just gave you the Ron disc. It's still here. Now I have to convince my mom to drive me another like hour yeah. there and back to, to go and get this thing. She's like, well, do you really need it? Like, what game did you get? Like, Mario Sunshine. Well, that's a good one, right? I already own it. Like, it is. Yeah. But one player. <laughs> yeah. There's three of us. That doesn't actually work. Uh, so eventually, poor, yeah, poor she, we boy. did go back. And then, yeah, I came back. And then we just played that game just hours man like probably 12 hours straight yeah i buy that i buy that hard and that's and then we woke up the next day and we did it again it was a whole weekend thing a whole weekend yeah a whole weekend birthday party oh those are always good yeah i probably have a story like that we gotta have some weekend birthday parties in here we need more we need more shop game stories right yeah we haven't had one in a while what was the last one like I don't know. You gotta come here and play games sometime. Yeah. I don't know. It's your problem. It was fun last summer. No, was... not not this summer. Well no, no, this summer it's it's this not summer, cool. It's, it's so stupid. last summer. Yeah, it's it's so last summer. It's last stupid. generation. It's so stupid. Yeah, you could get your own Final Fantasy fourteen character. We can Oh there we go. We're gonna yeah, M- we're yeah, gonna MMO we, it up. We can do this together. You're gonna be over there. I'll yep. be in here. Yeah. We're gonna have headsets. Yeah, totally. Like, like we're in different rooms. Yeah. <laughs> We can't just hear each other through the wall. Or even better yet, we'll cut that hole in the wall. Yeah, if there. I'm in trouble and I need to be healed, and then I'll do SOS and Morse code on the wall. Yeah, there we go. So I'll you, come you, running in the game. Yeah. I'm not getting up. I'm not running. No. And I'll bring you the HP potions. Yes. Get get that shit done. Yeah. Get that shit done. Done. Ah, uh, so I, I know I... Pr- oh, man. Let me think for a second here. I like those stories where it's like you and your friend play a game just for, like, literally a weekend. An all weekend. And I know I... Oh, what's a good one? What's a good one What's a good one? Uh, lo and behold, Brendan didn't think of a personal story beforehand. Surprise! I don't know if you've ever came up with one. I used to. When I used to actually take my binder and then write you down You need everything. to take your binder next week. I don't even know where my binder is. Somewhere in there, here, somewhere. I just haven't wrote, written anything down I haven't recently. written anything either. Oh, shut up. Maybe it would change things up a little bit. That would be a cool stream, a group play stream. See, we do do we do do game. You said do do. I know. Did you do? That? <laughs> we do play games uh, on the channel. Uh, Kai, we have some shop friends. Kai does a, uh, a bit of streaming. A, a big thing we did was when Breath of the Wild came out. We we literally streamed that game for thirty six hours. We did three 12 hour live streams in a row. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was crazy fun. Um, so yeah, we have done group streams like that. They're just kind of messy because there's a lot of people at once. Yeah. But they are fun. They are fun. I'm not going to deny that. We, we should do something like that again. Because we've been talking about like a, a group Mario Party stream would be a lot of fun. I think we need to do that. The high stakes Mario Party. That would be a lot of fun. I agree. Group, uh, group Smash Bros stream. Anything. Yeah. <sighs> I might have to skip out on the personal story this week. Yeah, that's fine feel a little bad about it. Well, it's okay. I'm just going to pull something. Okay, all right. This isn't anything interesting, but I'll tell it. Um, so, yeah, on, on the topic of renting games, uh, all of my game rentals uh, in my life were for the N64. 
early on, and then for the GameCube for when I was like 10 in, in that range. Um, so one of the first GameCube, this was, this was when I got my GameCube, and I had I had three games for it at the time. Uh, Pac-Man World 2, the Sonic Mega Collection, nice. and Codename Kids Next Door Operation Video Game. Yuck. <laughs> uh, these were my three games, and I, I, I loved all three of them, actually. But my mom said I could, we were going to Video Max to rent some movies, and I asked if I could rent a game for, like, a week. And my mom said yes. And this, nice. was, a, this was a big, this was a week. Nice. I was, that feeling is so mint. I get the, not for one night, I get it for the week. Yep. Because you know... She's going to let you play a lot. Because yeah. Because she paid for this. Yeah, so you get let's to play get, it. Let's get the use out of this. Exactly. Now. That was yeah. her money. Oh, yeah. She want, exa- that's the mentality you go in with. So we're going in there. We go to Video Max. It was in a different location at the time. It's moved again since then. And I'm, I'm in the GameCube aisle. This is when the GameCube is already kind of obsolete. The Wii is out, but there's still this one section of GameCube stuff. It's crazy to think that that was even a thing then. So I'm looking around, I'm seeing all these new titles, all these new covers. <laughs> some of them are trash, some of them are good. Take a guess at which game I picked out of all these. Keep it in mind the three I owned at the time. <laughs> I don't know, man. This so was the first game you gave I ever rented. And I loved this shit, and it's not a good game. <laughs> Just take a guess. Did you go with Sonic Riders? No, no, Sonic, that's a different story. So I am yeah, I'm in there and I loved Pokemon Stadium for the uh, the N64 as as a, as a youngin, and uh, so I'm, I'm I see a Pokemon game and I'm like oh man I got a Pokemon channel I got Pokemon channel oh man. that was what I picked oh uh, all these games I remember seeing a Smash Bros Melee didn't oh, pick that one man I'm pretty sure. Yeah, That's devastating. I feel like I need to give you your five dollars back. <laughs> <laughs> it was for a week too. I'm gonna send your mom a check for five bucks. Sorry, you spent this money <laughs> on your son. But but yeah, so I, I actually we had Hey You Pikachu as a kid. For some reason, we had the microphone too, and that's I actually loved that game because it was I could not play it for the life of me now. But as a kid, when you don't know what's going on and sure. the mic and there's all those colors, it was cool. So I looked at this Pokemon Channel game and I saw the words Pokemon and it. This game plays a lot like Hey You Pikachu, just without a microphone. It's a very similar concept, except it's all kind of based around a TV instead of your Pokemon, which is weird. Um, so yeah, that's the game I picked. I took this thing home, I put it in, and because uh, I loved Hey You Pikachu, uh, even just a couple years back, I ended up loving this game too. Now, just be- if you don't know Pokemon, it's a terrible game. Oh yeah, it's it's like a tech demo. It's not even a game. You you're in a first person view. You're in one room. You can visit like these different areas in the game, but the whole game is based around this television you buy. You watch the shopping channel and buy Pokemon trading cards on it. <laughs> you watch this weird Pichu film thing. Yeah. It's a weird game, but I have a soft spot in my heart for it because of it was the first GameCube game I ever got to rent. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, there's my story. It's a little better than I thought it would be. <laughs> But yeah, with that, we're going to uh, we're gonna wrap up the podcast. Wrap up the podcast. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. I really appreciate it. We will be live again next week, Tuesday, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, shirts are happening. We finally picked a design for some shirts. You need to send me these files. I do need to send you these files. I can't do I anything know. until I get them files. I will, I will get you the files. We picked two designs. I think you're doing both of them. I think so. Because I think you should. I think I should also. Do you want, do you, by the way, do you want the white outline that you see on the second one? Or do you not, without the white outline? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Okay. So, yeah. Did we, yours not have the white? It didn't. It was, well, it was a white background, so even if it did, you wouldn't have saw it. Okay, I'd probably need the white. Would you want it? Probably. Like, like if, you, if you're putting it on a white shirt, it would look fine. Put it on a black shirt, then you would want the white outline, I think. Yeah, I might stay on a white shirt. Because I think the other one we're going to go with black. I'll also get two again. Get we'll have the, some white, some black, I think. We'll get the one logo in black and get the one logo in white, or get kind of a mix of both. So no, have the, four shirts. whatever, we'll do it later. All right. So, yeah, we have two designs, and they're both really cool. I like them. They're uh, they're very retro. They are they are very neat. Yeah. So, uh, we will keep you guys posted on the Facebook page. Like all the social media stuff for Extra Life. Linked in the description if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more streams and stuff on this channel this week. Uh, my personal channel is linked in the description. We've been streaming there as well. 
Thank you for hanging out. We will see you guys next week. Have an awesome night. Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> That's from a movie if you watched it. Which one? Guardians of the Galaxy. No, I haven't watched that. Oh, it's so good. No. It's so good. See you later, guys.